the first place is to look at it as much more than signing a referral document. You see, what most people think a referral agreement is and a referral relationship is the commission that you might get for the referral, although we prefer not to work that way, or a set of rules about how we'll exchange leads. The issue is they sign the document and they put it in the bottom drawer. And if they forget about the doc document, they forget to refer. We like to say that it's much more about looking at the business processes across their client's journey and working out the embedding points along there where we can make sure that they think about introducing partners on both sides. So look at your briefing templates, your pitch templates, uh, your product delivery, some of the documents that you have around ongoing management and look for the points where both partners on both sides can put in a prompt to make sure that diverse new business people across the business always think to ask for an introduction. So if you have a diagnostic tool and it's got six areas that look at your business, how can you have a seventh area that looks for your referral partner's business and make sure that if that box gets ticked or if it needs services, there's a systemized way to make that introduction. The second one is know the top five need states, products, services, opportunities or questions that need find for your business and for your partners. Now, if you're selling your own business or you're working in a business that you've worked for a long time, you do this naturally. There are certain keywords, phrases, situations, issues, diagnoses that just bring to mind the matching of the services. For your partner, it's not that easy and for you introducing them, it's not easy either. So we want to get down to a list of five. Five questions, products, services, need states, or diagnoses that we can train all of the new business people across both sides to find. If you see one of these five things, then call our referral partner on this number. By simplifying it and taking out the math they need to do in each interaction, you make it easy for them to identify when there's a lead that's right for you. And hopefully, they'll be the same in reverse.